Prayer is personal conversation with our Father. It should not be filled with clever Christian cliches or worn out prayer phrases. It should be fresh. It should be real. It should be raw, like any meaningful conversation in our lives. Using the Lord's Prayer to learn how to pray, we see the principles of revering the person of God, not only in quiet prayer time, but also in the car on a backed up road when we're in a hurry and in the interaction with our children at the end of the day when we're tired. We have considered our need to submit to the Father's will. Now, let us focus on dependence. Luke chapter 4, 3 and 4. The devil said to him, the devil said to Jesus, if you're the son of God, command this stone to become bread. And Jesus answered him, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. After Jesus fasted for 40 days, think about that, 40 days, Satan confronted him. The first temptation was to turn stones into bread. See, food was something Jesus wanted and needed, and turning stones into bread was something he, the creator, could do. The offer was inviting to Jesus, but as hungry as he was and as tempting as the offer was, Jesus resisted. His reasoning is very instructive. Man shall not live by bread alone. And Matthew adds, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. The, the response of Jesus moves us beyond the sub substance that could satisfy the stomach for a short time to the person who can satisfy the soul for eternity. Well, what a lesson that is for us. We, we are tempted to trust in what is supplied. Jesus reminds us to trust always in the one who supplies. Father, we are easily distracted by things. We sometimes believe that a thing or a situation, a fulfilled dream, will bring satisfaction into our lives. Remind us that no material person can meet our crying need. Only you can meet our need. And so we submit ourselves to you. We surrender ourselves to you right now in Jesus' name. Amen.